Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is the professor with Day Trading for Success. Today, I'm going to be trading the Power Hour. I also will be giving you this uh, Power Hour layout uh, for free. You can get download this. I'll make the um, the link um, available to you, as well as the Scalpers Indicator for free, the DTS here, and then um, the ADX Trend. Um, I will make. I'll put it all all links for these. These are the ones that are custom scripts, DTS. Please read this um, disclaimer. I am not a licensed financial advisor. This channel is just for entertainment purposes, showing you different ways to trade that might work for you in a perfect world. So you really should seek the advice of somebody you trust and don't try to do this strategy or anybody else's strategy on YouTube without seeking the advice of professional and practicing in a sim and making sure that it works for you because really each individual strategy is what works for each person. You can't really mimic somebody else's strategy until you try it and learn it on your own. So I did trade earlier today in the same stock <clears throat> and I did not make my my 5,000 that I wanted to make. So I'm back. I'm back with a little lower. I was actually read a couple thousand earlier today, and then I came back. And um, so I'm only going to trade 500 because AMD has been difficult lately, but I'm trying to break this uh, cycle with this stock. So different on the power hour layout is I have the SPY down here, which I always open up, and I like to look at the current movement. So it has been kind of swelling up and down, up and down. It seems like it's about to swell back up. If I were to call it, this is on a five minute on the SPY. And then this is the QQQ, and it's the same. Basically, they follow it along because these are the, the big tech stocks. So it's the same movement, unless it keeps heading down, <clears throat> it's going to bounce back right now. It's grinding along the point of control. So this volume profile is something you can just get on Thinkorswim. I have a bunch of videos that show how to um, set this out for intraday. So all the uh, pivot lines that I set up in the morning are the same ones that I trade in the power hour. The only thing I really change is the Fibonacci on the two-day. That's what I change uh, if it warrants, and it definitely warrant, warranted because I had a much different high-low. So I pulled that up there from the low high to see if any of those might come into play. So this big spaghetti mess is supporting pivot lines based on the RV strategy. So this is still the RV strategy. I am just using it uh, for the open, I mean for the uh, power hour. So I went back quite a few days to make sure I had I kept within the what we needed here. So I stayed, um, you know, right now this morning it was already when I was trading this morning it was already up high. So I made a whole bunch above it, and it looks like it was a good idea that I did. But basically, I just touched every wick and every candle that might come into candle body that might come into play because that's where the stock has turned around, paused, people have sold off or. Um, um, bought right then and there's a good chance that it'll come back to that again so that's the essence of a range bound strategy is try to figure out your range with the atr high and low and then try to figure out where the pivot points are and create channels and then you scalp you day trade and scalp based on those levels there's a whole book called day trading volume one that tells you how to do that and shows you exactly how to set it up and exactly how to um, do the the trading in and out of every channel. I mean, it's a really good book. I'll have a link to it. The other book that you might want to get is the uh, Candlestick Pattern Playbook. I'll be calling the Candlestick Patterns again today. This is a four hour, obviously, so we don't want to look at those patterns, but I'll be calling these patterns in here. I'll have a link to that. Trading in the zone, I'll have a link to that. And then uh, the best loser wins, I'll have a link to that. That's uh, my four uh, favorite books that I highly recommend. And then the day, the uh, trading uh, log journal. Day Trading Log Journal, Trading Log Journal. God, I can't, I can't remember the name. But anyway, there'll be a link for the one that I helped get that one out uh, with the publisher of the Million Dollar Margin Club. So I can start any time. There is no specific time on the power hour to, to do this. I just want to stop long before, um, say, uh, um, at our East Coast time would be 345. I want to stop at least 15 minutes before the close of the market because I don't like it. So I don't even have level two up for AMD because it was throwing me off. So I literally just hit it and I'm just looking at what the market maker is going to give me. I know that might seem odd, but it's a it's a large cap, guys. The level two does very, very little and they are not jamming this up with big orders like that. Um, 
So I have a five minute. I, of course, have the to see if we have a trend. There's no trend right now. So because it's just kind of swaling along here. And then I have your my RSI down here again. You can see it's right in the middle. So um, we're going to have to base it on uh, on um, uh, the patterns and the the pivot lines. And there's some grinding action in here. I have to tell you, I'm not exactly super excited about the way it's moving right now. But I'm going to see if I can grind out 1200 bucks. And this is what I do in the afternoons to make up. I'm not having as good a week as last week. Um, to try to get to where I'm going. I want to make sure I don't go the other way. I had kind of a tough morning um, this morning, and uh, I wanted to make sure I put enough of these uh, power hours out here because I've been getting asked for these. So you can see this is coming in here, the volume action here. This is, looks like it's going to try to pull it down. I just have a few people with me this afternoon. So... I'm not quite ready yet, guys. I'm just going to look a little longer here and see. I'll be calling the ball for everybody. I did put some Fibonacci extensions up there. It does not look like they're going to come into play. So this may drop off. I mean, it did. It wasn't much of a swale up after that big fall there. Now here's a 15-minute. So it's kind of like back on the downward move. So um, and there it goes. Yep. So let's see if we can get this to bottom out here somewhere and, uh, you know, think about going in there. So let's wait a couple of minutes or five minutes. Just This is not a good spot to get in, so I'm going to wait. I learned my lesson this morning. Now, these are two indecisive candles. They're both uh, bearish dojis sending this downward. You have a hanging man here sending this downward. Everything sending this downward. It's the, at the top of the point of control. This doesn't necessarily mean downward, um, but uh, it 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 uh, if if it's been grinding here, then we want it to at least grind down here before we try to get in. If we're going to go long, so it is a thought to go short here. Um, I really feel like it's going to go down here, but you know I don't know. Yeah, why don't we take it short? I'm going to go ahead and go short here, based on those. Uh, the, these all indecisive candles and we'll see we'll see what happens here so we just have 500 shares mostly because I don't want to get in too much trouble I got got kind of um, beat up earlier today and managed to come back on a couple of big trades there good good trades right near the end so it's not going to be AMD is not a high it's not a super duper entertaining stock to trade it's not like nvidia or tesla or uh, even meta or some of those others that have big much bigger swings but that's the safety of it that's you want an rv strategy trying to get back to um what the rv strategy was made for which is a sideways consolidating stock and you see here in this five minute we have a big channel here it kind of respected the high and low of these in between this this isn't respected the one here but these two got serious respected on the five minute so that's we're right in this area so we're looking for this to pull down here and then I might consider reversing it or if it if it if it jumps me out of uh, position here so we're not again we're not going to have big gains here so you know um, wow it's, it's losing its way. I'm going to grab it right there. So what did I get there? I got some money there, didn't I? A couple hundred bucks. So if that keeps going, I'll reverse back. But um, I'm reversing off of this. I got a little soon because I didn't want to miss it because it was slowing down. So, you know, if you looked at the, the – although the volume picked up here. So um, now it's like a battle. I actually didn't look at this. I was looking at the candle action. So uh, I might have not got out quite then at, at the, with the power of that. And this is the scalpers indicator, guys. You're going to want to get this. Yep, I think I, I went a little soon. Now, we're not going to look as, as big a numbers as you're, you're used to seeing here. So I'm just trying to make 30, 50, 80 bucks a trade. I'm not trying to get hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh, on the power hour with AMD. I'm just trying to get to see how long it takes me to get up to five. And when I get around five, I'm just going to stop. So... Uh, unless there's just some amazing move going on, and then I, I won't be stupid that way. But but I'm on my way to getting to four, so that's good. 
it's a different it's a different type of trading really um so i mean it's not really a different type of trading let me from what i've been showing and i get into it too the excitement of making a lot more money you know showing those entertaining videos that have big big numbers this is sort of a more realistic way that people should consider to to want to trade um where you don't have so much being risked and um and you use these channels to figure out your you know what you're willing to to risk this is really the largest one i'm in right now uh, these are smaller so you want to traverse it look at that that's only um you know a, a 13 cent channel right there here's a 16 cent channel you know and then this one i can't really read what it says there i think that's 33 i mean so this one's a 30 34 cent channel roughly the biggest one um so that's uh with 500 shares you can do the math quickly if you're willing to stay in the whole channel how much you're putting up like 150 bucks here for me to run this whole channel so i started at the bottom and it's going the right way i'm up to 90 bucks but you know i'm certainly willing to risk that much money to try to call these right um and uh, you guys have seen how i've traded i always reversed i'll still reverse even with this i'm not going to get big sl i already know i'm not going to get huge slippage i'm not showing the level two one of the reasons i'm not worried about that i'm just watching right here and when that level two has um when it, it ju it's just distracting to me and now there will be traders that tell you that's counterintuitive and i just uh it's it's a different type of trading if you're worried about that and there are definitely styles that you need to worry about so i'm going to look to reverse off that four hour let's see i'll give it a second so there's the top of our intraday okay okay well that just gave did you see that go up the point of control i'm not reversing okay so that should give it a spring so let's wait a second so pretty high here um and when you see that pop up, that's where the most of the price action is. And it just pulled it up there so we don't have to worry about as much, uh, worry about dipping as much. So that's good news. So let's see if that gives it enough power to break through because that point of control just should boost it right up. Oh, it wicked down to the bottom of that. It's not, if you see my price right here, it's not really moving much, but I can tell you it's not, I thought it was going to boost right up and it's not. So I'm getting ready to reverse off this four hour, which is 77. I'm 10 cents off it. There it goes. Making a hangman here if it holds it. Okay, so that's a reversal sign. So that's, that's you know, I got to get ready to go back with it. So another split second, and I'm going to reverse. I'm just waiting to see here. This has actually gone up from when I was ready to reverse a second ago, so I'm holding it with the money here. I look at the money a lot when a stock goes this slow because I know what that means on the candles too. So, Okay. So now see it's resting on the top of that point of control that moved up. That hangman should turn it around. I don't want to see this come up. I want to see this pop up over here. I don't like this coming up because that's dragging it down. Um, there we go. Okay, so this is a good trade for 500 shares. So we broke up above that channel. Now we've got uh, we've got areas where it went. This is about as high as it went, which is right here. I don't worry about taking my eyes off the screen with this stock. I, I got to be honest with you. I'm not not super worried about it. Okay. Nvidia, I'd be a little more sweating. Okay, so this is a bearish doji, which means it should go down. Bearish hangman, which means it should go down. But the point of control pulled up, and now let's look at right there for a reversal. Uh, that's where it turned. This is where it was kind of high earlier. So, but we're not nowhere near the real high for the day. So, um, which is way up here actually. We can't even see it on the five minute. Look at it go. That's good. Well, we ended up getting it on a kind of a trend here, which is nice. Uh, this is sort of making a trend here. This is a little pullback. And if it breaks through that 176.86, which is, it's hovering at right now. So for some reason, that line is, uh, that level is being respected. I don't know why. 
it wasn't not picked up on the on the uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take that because i'm a little worried about that so i banked that money I'm, I'm on my way a little bit here so uh oh okay okay that's not good all right so i took a little loss there i saw that action go i was like okay they're, they're, it's going to keep going up so i thought it was about to pull back but uh, i think i lost a little bit there on that one yeah, this is strong. This is strong. Everything's saying go up. So as you can see, power hour is a little different. It's a little slower usually than in the morning. It, sometimes it can be busy. And then AMD makes it even slower. And I picked it on purpose. You know, I've had a long day and uh, a lot of meetings and stuff going on. I already traded this morning. And I'm just a sort of more of a relaxing trade. So I usually don't record because I don't even like to, you know, have the pressure of, of filming, you know, for I just want to just kick back and have fun. I like trading, obviously, I say have fun. <laughs> it's just, obviously, I like it. Um, history of gaming, being in world championship gaming, you know, traveling around the country, being in, in world championship gaming in my day. And that was a, a while ago, guys, for you guys that are, I see the guys trading today and that, uh, you know, that the first person shooter stuff, the speed that uh, that people uh, trade in, you know, that the, the newest thing that I w was in competition with was Call of Duty, which isn't really that long ago. Um, and, uh, and then before that, believe it or not, you ready for this one? Mario Brothers. Yeah. In the 80s, I was in competition for that. So how about that for a little weird treat that you probably maybe is blowing confidence for you right now. But I remember the the world championship. They hadn't Mario three wasn't out yet. And they had in the uh, championships, you had a uh, an eight bit that all the you'd sit, stand up at podiums and you'd, there'd be a big screen. And I was the oldest guy. <laughs> Nobody wanted me to win. I was the oldest guy. Even in the 80s, I was the oldest guy. And uh, you'd stand up at the um, podium. And I remember this happened to me early on. I, I have a lot of time, so I'm going to tell you a story. But when I used to be in math competitions way back in uh, middle school, they'd have you go up to a chalkboard and you'd things as simple as the timetables. You'd have to write down speed as fast as you can, fast as you can. And then people, then you drop your chalk, you know, you move to the next. And I remember my leg would shake, you know, and the kids would laugh at me because my leg would shake. You know, I'm just, you're, you're concentrating, you're biting your lip, you're going as fast as you can. It's like, why does speed have anything to do with the writing? It makes no sense. I could just yell out that fast, so fast. But that's, you know, way back then. And then in the, when I was in these world championships, I had that same feeling and there's like this 12 year old kid next to me and there's like this i don't know how young i'm eight or nine uh i was you know i was an adult it was craziness but they had no age limit but there was definitely some bitterness because it was like let the kid win it's like 50k up there's like fifty thousand dollars back then you know so yeah i'm sure you could look you guys can look this up online um and it was just it, it was intense and um i lost but anyway, um, but Mario 3, how they had it was you had um, Rad Racer, um, Mario 3, and Tetris. And I was really, really good at Tetris. And Mario I was good at. But you, in order to even – those of you who know about gaming, back then, you know, the little controllers and – and you had to keep the B button down, like literally all the time when you're in the air spinning backwards, whatever you're doing. The second you're not going full speed, wow, this is a good trade for those of you actually interested in trading. Um, it just keeps going up, so I'm going to hang on. Um, but the second you weren't, you know, you weren't going full speed, you were going to fall behind. And it's timed. It's timed. You know, they're all connected in one 8-bit, like, little disc that you put in. And they had a... Um, at the end, they surprised everybody with Mario 3, which wasn't out yet. So nobody had seen it. So now you're going into this brand new game that nobody had seen. So you have no practice. And that's where I really fell behind. And, and I still, because I was ahead, and it, real, it still uh, irks me to this day because I could not understand how they were going so fast. And 
I figured it out, of course, but it took a while. And I think that as you go through life, right, you learn to be afraid of shit, sorry, stuff that happens to you. So there's that, there's that momentary pause, right, where you, you learn to be afraid. And just that little bit of indecision they did not have. They were so gutsy. And, you know, in real life, they probably would have died, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Those little kids should have died. No, I'm kidding. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, so I, lo- I got a hat. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I lost. And it went on with people. And uh, But I had a chance, you know, I had a chance. In my mind, I was a contender. Um, but those, those, those kids just blew me away back then. So that was my last big competition of that kind of – that thing was huge when you had the big screen up. And it was pretty exciting. Uh, and I, those kids were not intimidated. But that's when Mario was, like, at its height of – and then I did a brief stint being a counselor for, for Nintendo where I answered the questions on how to solve the games because I was really good. I, I solved all the games, if I, don't, if I do say so myself. Um, so I would always be, a, I think that's what they call us, counselors. So I would answer all those questions. And you know, I wasn't trying to make money. I was just having a good time, you know, and I liked doing that. And working for Nintendo was, like, really exciting back then. You know, I was, oh, geez. Okay, so I really was stupid there talking about myself. Um. Yeah, so it really respected that, huh, guys? Wow. How's everybody doing? You're all short. You've already all gone short on me. I should have gone short. I'm going to go short now. I can't believe I missed that. Sorry, I got off on a Nintendo gaming thing. I do think people that game, though, have have an edge scalping, you know, if they're used to gaming. I mean, we're going back, what is that, 40 years, something? I mean, you can tell how old I am. But um, And I was still the oldest one playing. But then later on, um, wow, I really should have stopped talking. I probably could have had this at 4,300 or something, so it really messed up here. There were hands waving when I uh, – that's how I finally saw what was going on there. Yeah, I definitely missed this move. That's that's where I went wrong. I missed it and I got out. But it looks like it's it's going to going to go back up. Yeah, so I got so much into um gaming, you know, I bought my, you know, made my own uh, game store and ran competitions in the game store and then traveled across the country in competition and uh um, you know, I, ha- I was able to, you know, do whatever I wanted at that time, you know, by, by that time, I should say. And that's what I wanted to do is I wanted to play games and compete. And uh, they didn't have this kind of way to trade the stock market back then. This was not available until like 2017, 18, uh, where things started to become more uh, this stuff you could get. They had tools and the platforms to trade this way. So as soon as that started to happen, I was definitely into swinging and doing the other type of trading, um, diamond hands, we called it back then, and then had brokers and stuff for that too. But um, like other traders would tell you, you know, back in the day when I was gaming, you had to call in a trade and wait. I mean, it wasn't like you could do this. So for those of you that don't know, this is amazing that you're able to do this kind of trading now and that the platforms keep getting better and better. And because of that, the the uh, patterns are, are, you know, more and more people are reading patterns, which is really important. Um, and they're going to become even, because some of these patterns were only really for uh, um, day patterns. And now they're being respected for intraday. 
This is so slow. I don't know if I'm going to make it to my God. And it's going down here again. I want to reverse there. I should, I should have, I think I, yeah. What I got 7707. So I reversed it off this. I waited a little long to reverse it there. I could have had another 20, 30 bucks. It's going to be hard to carve out 5,000 here. Um, so anyway, yeah, traveling the country, having fun. Uh, being in competition went on for a short period in my life, a few, few years. Still have friends from that time. And then, of course, it gives you that quick, you know, the quick trains you for those quick... Um, reflexes you don't need to gain to trade this way just that the i think i think that i think i mentioned earlier how they had a shortage of air traffic controllers the canvas story came out earlier in the week um and uh they're looking for gamers <laughs> to hire for air traffic controllers which is interesting but it's a certain skill um and again from my it's gone so much you guys know the young you most of you are watching are younger than me they uh it's I, I every once in a while I'll go to one of the events just to see what it's like and it's just like oh my god the way that everybody's in little pods and <clears throat> just the stuff that they do is just uh, I'm not sure how I would have fared you know if that was around when I was uh, doing stuff you guys okay up there I'm gonna go off that I'm going to reverse off that. What did I get it at? 33? Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have. At the top of this. So you know how I try to catch these. I'm going to try to catch it and hope that it goes the right way, but it's already, oh, there we go. It's already going the wrong way. I'm going to have to really uh, try to scalp to get what I need here. Might not make it today. You guys are doing good. I can't tell how you're doing compared. I can't remember exactly what I started with. Some of you guys started at zero on this stock anyway, so doing pretty good. You got a couple hundred up there. Somebody's over 300. Um, I think that's about what I, I have. I think I'm about with you, even though I missed that move big time. Yeah, this may not. It may just bounce off this and keep going up. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so let's see it get down here. These are tiny channels. Yeah, because of that history, when I opened up my own game store, I um, I wanted to have tournaments there, you know. So I, um, I got into like the kids having to. I'm going to take it right here, guy. I'm going to take a flip right here off that. What did I get it at? 19. All right. So I'm trying to play this. Let's see if it flips around. And then I know some of you are that are watching know me from those days, and uh, I, I, you know, I. I still, uh, I still miss miss those days. Getting into all the different gaming, everything from Warhammer to Magic the Gathering to whatever it might be. Um, just a big kid, just love that stuff. I could afford to do it, so I did it. I was lucky graduating from high school, very young, and uh, 
bought my own boat when I was 16 and um, had grandiose plans to go around the world on my little 29-foot uh, Owens clapboard uh, boat, lap straight, they call boats. Uh, had a history in knowing how to rebu rebuild boats, rebuild engines, do whatever I needed to do to go out and survive in the wild ocean. And uh, had learned with traveling the world with my parents in a big schooner. And I just wanted to be on my own. God, I should have stayed there longer. They paid for everything. <laughs> we don't know. We forget. <laughs> uh, but, you know, you just can't. You just got to get away, right? You got to make your own thing. I know some of you had asked about some of my history. I don't want to go in because I am. This is the professor as a persona, so I can intermix um, real things I've done. But I have to be careful because I've already had to file charges against stalkers, and it's it's just a it's a big mess when you when you make yourself public. I have you know people around me that I care about that it affected them and. It was a big deal, so I'm not going to come out with who I am. Um, and I appreciate that you don't try to find out because I don't want uh, more of that to happen. But it's, it's a couple of people have, and you know, and I don't wish them any ill. But you know, it was just too much. It's just craziness, you know, for for me to try to handle. So. You guys are doing good up there. Okay, so let's look to bank off that again. It's been working. I'm going to look to reverse up there. Just a tiny trade, just a tiny scalp, but I'm slowly getting up there. Could have waited a little longer. I got it at 24. Unfortunately, yeah, I should have waited a little longer. Thought when I hit, uh, man, that's like the whole amount I made on the other side there. Would you guys, did you wait for the summer? You're still long right now, so good for you. Yeah, I thought I saw it bouncing, and I thought it was gonna, as I hit it, it was gonna bounce up to what I needed, but it didn't. So. Yeah, I don't see this getting to five today, so it's just going to be one of those days. But overall, I've had um, many, many businesses, and I, you know, thank you for being interested. And I still own um, some businesses, and um, trading's kind of my side hustle, or uh, you know having an entertaining uh, YouTube channel, sort of my side hustle to teach. I like to teach, used to teach math as well. And, um, and that's a little bit about me. Hopefully that was not disappointing. I'm gonna take it off of that again. That's all I'm doing. I'm just taking it off. I'm just trying to take these little steps. I just keep calling them off just a little bit wrong, but I have gone up like 600 bucks, I think, since when I started. Um, I think I was 39 something, so maybe only 500 bucks. Let's see if this can go up to the. There it is at 31. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it right there and see if it falls off again. So I had some slippage on that one, didn't I? Whoa, I'll take that. I got over 45 on that. That was a big dip for this, the way it's been moving. I'm actually in a pretty good position down there. I'm like right here if it goes back up, of course. Um, otherwise, it's that terrible of a position. So, Oh, come on. Really? 
So it decided to go all the way down. Yeah, I know one of the things somebody had asked, like, what were the, I had alluded to stressful or dangerous things. And yeah, I won't go into a lot of them, but because I just still can't talk about them, actually. But um, one of the, not to be mysterious, um, but uh, what uh, I used to, you know, I, I dove, I used to be a diver. So I often had, uh, and then I became a, a salvage diver for sunken boats. And I had many, many encounters with uh, sharks and more eels and boats, you know, collapsing while I was in them underwater and, you know, um, you know, a lot of stuff like that that was, uh, you know, I can't believe some of the stuff I, I did, you know, and just, you, you, you know, you're younger and you just, you feel much more invincible and lots of injuries and scars to, to show. Like I can be like that guy uh, Quinn and Jaws. I have a we could we could start talking about all my different scars on my body. Um, I like that movie. Oh oh okay. Let's see. I'm not going to get out quite as fast this time. I hope that's not a mistake, but it keeps breaking through right after. I, oh, I should have taken it. Damn it. That was 50 bucks. Uh, wow. Well, I'm going to wait now. It broke through here, and it broke through here, and then the time I didn't hold, it didn't break through. Because that's what it likes to do. It's going to give me another chance. Which actually makes it seem like it really is going to break through. So, Yeah, I used to always carry a knife, you know, um, when I dove and it, you know, strapped around my, my leg, uh, my calf area. And you had to, uh, because of barracudas, you had to wrap the, uh, I'm going to take that. You had to wrap the, uh, any part that was shiny that wasn't inside, like the tops are usually shiny because you could unscrew them and put things in them that you might need when you're underwater. Um, and uh, you had to wrap with like electrical tape so it wouldn't shine because barracudas, it's not like they're coming after you. Oh my God, really? Um, I'm thinking of reversing here and taking a hit. I'm gonna take a hit there. Yeah, really, really strong. See it? <laughs> really, really strong. So I just called that wrong. So that's a little thing that people might not know when you have a knife you should wrap it for barracudas because they just see something flash and they think you're a little a shiny fish to eat so they'll just come in at your leg here's a little fact you may not have known when you're on a boat and you don't want eggs to go bad and you don't have refrigeration to put eggs and you're traveling a long time and you want to have eggs all you have to do is every day turn the egg over that's all you got to do turn it over turn it over it won't go bad well you got to keep it in a cool spot not in the sun obviously but we had him in what we call the bilge you know in the boat and it was my job as a kid to go down there and turn those damn eggs over every because we had we had hundreds and hundreds of eggs you know so that we could keep eggs um and it was always cool and dark and very tight <laughs> so back by the stern of the stern of the boat was uh, where we kept them and it was very tight a bilge area and I'd get down there and I'd flip those eggs over every day was one of my jobs nice I'm going to take that right there off that uh, fib we got a double fib there 
So let me see if that pulls back. I'll, tr I'll try to get it again. Did I actually go down with that? Did I slip? Oh, man, I don't know if I slipped there or not. Whoa! Look at that go. I'm going to take that. I shorted at, uh, wow. Man, did I blow that or what? Is this not reconciling? Because I thought I was way negative there. Uh, 177.65. It looks like this is not reconciling here with the, with the money. Um, because it looked like I, I, I got that to me way down here, but then it wasn't red. So, um, so this to me just, just go out of control here. I might be in trouble here. Got it 77.65. So I'm looking for it to break back through before I go to short it. Because that would be, if you read the book, Day Trading Volume 1, that's the, okay, I, I took a loss there to, to try to get that. Um, but I don't know if this candlestick is reading this correctly here. What was I at? So I'm at 68. No, it didn't. So I have to watch the low, I have to watch the, uh, yeah, that, I, I took a bad trade there. That's not where I thought the price action was. Oh, that's annoying. I was getting so close there. I'm looking for a dip. Not a dip. I'm sorry. I'm not looking for a dip. I'm looking for it to go up to, to reverse, to go to go um, short. And here's another fact. You ready for another fact? When you're out in the in the ocean, probably haven't shared it with you yet. So the only thing that suds us up when you're trying to wash. The only thing we could ever find that could lather in salt water was Liquid Joy, the dishwashing detergent. Now, this is stuff you need to know for trading, right? <laughs> we smelled very lemony as a family. Four cats, four dogs, brothers on a big boat. Everybody smelled like Lemon Joy. We were clean. That's the most info I have talked about for anything in like every single video I've ever recorded. So I must be in a talking mood here. Okay, there's a chance it could get to 5K here. Not going to trade too much longer. Somebody else is going to review this video to see if it's even to be released. So if you're seeing it, I guess it passed the review. Wow, there we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that. I'm going to take that and hope that it pulls back here. 40, 29. That 40 was worth almost worth taking there. 30, I'm going to take it. So I'm at uh, just trying to catch some little scalps here and maybe scalp my way up to 5K. That's my goal today, but it's not looking good. Of course, if I was paying more attention, I probably could have done it by now, but. can't I wish I could tell how you so there's two of you over a thousand I think yeah you so you're definitely doing better than me yep well this is a big trade for 500 shares going wrong here
waiting for it to turn around, hoping it's going to recover. Here we go. It's coming back. I make a big, big jump there. So yeah, so we had a had a uh, spinning top or a bullish doji here, which sort of should have told me that it was going to at least have some sort of a pullback. Here's another one. And now we've got, this is obviously just a shadow. It's not actually happening. Um, nice, nice. Let's get up there to that four hour. Let's get up to that four hour. Look how close I am. Man, so close. But you can't let that, that that'll psych you out. Just go for that. You got to watch the trade like I haven't been doing, but I'm going to take that. Okay, so that's it for me, guys. I'm going to be a little short. That's going to keep going, isn't it? Yep, it's going to keep going. So I would say that if I wasn't messing around and talking about boyhood things, I would be over my 5K. But I messed around. But anyway, hopefully um, this type of trading was, was uh, entertaining and Maybe you learned something from it. From it, remember to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe. Um, hopefully, I'm not going to get a bunch of horrible comments like, "Why don't you just talk about trading? What are you doing?" <laughs> Last time I said something, it was like, "Is this a trading?" I got a nasty email. Isn't this a trading thing? It's like, no, actually, it's an entertainment channel. So, part of the entertainment is listening to the professor talk about crap that you might not like, and if you don't like it, then I'm sorry. I still want you to stay. I'm not going to say don't watch, but I'm sorry if you don't like it. But okay, guys, all you guys did good. Is there any, nobody's red. Okay, that's good. All right. Well, guys, I will make this uh, layout available as well as the new scalping indicator one more time. And remember, if you want all the other free custom scripts that are on episode 83, as well as all these other episodes you should look at, how to tell which way the market's going, how to set up your scanners, how to set up your charts, you know, on and on and on. Um, and don't forget to look at the links for those great books. And I will see you guys down the road. Stay green out there.